Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a white cigarette with a brown filter in my white car with a brown interior, which I will admit I am quite excited to do for two main reasons. The first of which being that I think the title of this video is pretty funny if I do say so myself. And so as such, of course, I am quite excited to make this video just simply because I, I think the title is honestly pretty funny. The second reason I'm so excited to make this video is just simply because I want to smoke a cigarette. And I really want to smoke a cigarette in my car. It's been a minute since I last smoked a cigarette in my car. So of course I'm quite excited to do that in today's video. But what is my car right here and what is the cigarette that I'm going to be smoking today? Well, my car is a 1985 Mercedes-Benz W123 300D turbo diesel sedan with the OM617 turbo diesel under the hood and a classical white exterior and a Palmetto Brown MB Tex interior, which I am hoping will match the look of this cigarette right here pretty well. But what is the cigarette that I'm going to be smoking in today's video? Well, today I'm going to be smoking an American Spirit Black which I think matches the look of this car pretty well. But that's not all, because American Spirit Blacks are pretty slow burning, pretty heavy, pretty strong cigarettes. My car is a pretty slow accelerating, pretty heavy, pretty strong car. And so as such, I do think that there are more similarities between American Spirit Blacks and my Mercedes than not that is for sure. With, of course, one major difference being that one was made in Germany and one was made in the United States. That is one major difference, but more so than not, they're definitely, they're definitely similar, that is for sure. They're definitely similar, that is for sure. But first off, before I go ahead and actually get in my car, and before I actually go ahead and get the cigarette all lit up and I get to smoking my uh, white cigarette with my uh, brown filter in my white car with my brown interior, I do suppose I should probably, first off, just uh, take a look at how close the look of my cigarette and my car actually are. So, taking a look at this white paper right here, we can see it looks pretty good kind of thing, but how does it look when compared to my white paint job on my car? So let's just go ahead and take a look at that real quick. We can just see I think it looks definitely much more similar than not. Maybe the cigarette is a little bit, well, a little bit less shiny, of course, I, I do suppose. Maybe a little bit less kind of vibrant kind of thing, but definitely more similar than not. I cannot complain that is for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks when compared to the, uh, how, how the filter looks when compared to the uh, interior and everything like that kind of thing. So let's go and get my door open real quick, just like that. And let's just go ahead and just take a look at the uh, filter when compared to the door and we can see, okay, yeah, the filter does not match as well. I will admit the filter much more orange than not kind of thing. It's a little bit too orange to really match this more dull brown palmetto-y interior that is for sure, but it still matches better than not, I will admit. So I certainly got no complaints on my behalf and the gold band on the uh, filter matches pretty well with the uh, with, with the Palmetto interior, I will admit. Y'all, I will admit. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. One other thing I like about these cigarettes, though, that is that they do have a black accent on the paper right there. And my car's exterior has a bunch of black accents. We can see black bumper right here, or black bumper guard kind of thing right here kind of thing. We can see some black on the uh, sort of a, what is this called actually on the, what is that called? On the, on the thing, on the fender right here kind of thing. I can't remember what it's called. There's some, there's some black on that as well kind of thing. Pretty nice as a whole kind of thing. This cigarette matches my Mercedes more so than not. That is for sure. I certainly cannot complain. But there's one other thing I need to talk about. And that is what lighter I'm going to be using to light my white cigarette with a brown filter in my, whew, I'm out of breath, in my <laughs> white car with a brown interior. So what lighter am I going to be using in today's video? Well, my Mercedes has a bunch of stainless steel silver accents. We can see the border going all the way around the grill. It's all stainless steel, all sort of like silver accents and stuff like that kind of thing. And same with the Mercedes logo itself right here. So of course today I got to use a stainless steel silvery sort of lighter 
which I think will work pretty well for today's video, that is for sure. I would have used a white lighter, but I don't feel like dying, frankly put, so I'm not gonna use a white lighter. And instead, I'm gonna use my stainless steel Zippo, which I feel like matches the car a little bit better in all honesty. The only thing that really doesn't match uh, in today's video is my outfit. I'm wearing all black today. Literally, I got the black Air Forces on, got black jeans on, got a black Carhartt shirt on, but the accents I'm wearing do match my car. I've got my uh, stainless steel uh, KCO on, and I've got my uh, stainless steel uh, Cuban chain on as well kind of thing so the accents match my car's accents but other than that i don't really match let me just put it that way kind of thing but i do suppose without further ado i should probably now go ahead and hop inside my car so i can actually go ahead and uh well smoke a white cigarette with a brown filter in my white car with a brown interior so let's go ahead and uh move my american spirit black pack right there let's go move this cigarette right there as well kind of thing and now I'm gonna go and hop in my car. I'm gonna go ahead and take my wallet out of my back pocket so it ain't jamming into me the whole time when I'm trying to sit down and everything like that kind of thing. Let's go and open up my ashtray as well, which we can see does have a couple cigarettes in it, but none of those cigarettes, except for one or two of them, was smoked inside this car. That's just my uh, that's just my trash can for cigarette butts, so I make sure I don't be littering or nothing like that kind of thing, that is for sure. And one other thing, one other thing I actually just now realized, this this car has wood grain. Yeah, and this brown filter, I mean like it doesn't match the wood grain like super perfectly kind of thing, but I mean like it's it's a little bit closer than that kind of thing, I certainly can't complain. And the black accents on the, on the paper, well they match that pretty well as well kind of thing. And the odometer, the odometer is, is all in white. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but the odometer is all in white along with the like speed stuff right there. All of the all of the gauges are all in white. There are some yellow accents, don't get me wrong kind of thing, but they're more so than not in white. Well, wow. oh, and same with these switches. It's, it's, it's black switches with white accents. I ain't gonna lie y'all, this, this, this cigarette, it's matching really well with this car. I think I might be going, I think I might be going a little bit too in depth, I will admit, but this cigarette, it's matching perfectly with my car. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. Matching perfectly with my car. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. The only thing left for me to do now is to go ahead and actually get my phone out of my uh, little little vlog holder tripod thingamajig and actually get it into my phone mount that I have uh, right here because my arm is going to die if I try to hold my phone like this the entire time. My arm is already dying and I've only been holding my phone for like seven and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and just fold this up just a little bit kind of thing and let's go and get my phone all out just like that just like that there we go get it all out and now let's go ahead and put my phone in the holder right here let's see if i can how's that looking oh it's a little bit lopsided i'll fix that real quick i'll fix that real quick there we go i'm thinking that should work better than not we ball you know what i'm saying we ball I do suppose there's only one more, well, actually two more things for me to do. First off, I need to get my lighter out of my pocket. And now I do suppose it is time for me to go ahead and smoke my white cigarette with a brown interior in my white car. Did I say brown interior? <laughs> I think I did. I can't remember if I actually, did I say? <laughs> it is now time. I'm cracking myself up. I cannot believe I misspoke. But it is now time for me to go ahead and smoke my white cigarette with a brown filter in my white car with a brown interior. I said that correctly. I said that correctly. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this cigarette right here in my mouth. Let's go ahead and open up my uh, stainless steel Zippo lighter that matches the accents of my car, just like that kind of thing. And now, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up, and let's go ahead and get to smoking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. Hmm. <sighs> Certainly no complaints on my behalf, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. Whoo, whoo. That first hit, a little bit rough. A little bit rough. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I will admit though, this car, my Mercedes, it's pretty. It's a pretty good car to smoke some cigarettes in. That is for sure. It's got one ashtray in the front, two ashtrays in the back. Neither of which I've used yet. I need to do that sometime in the future. That is for sure. 
but arm hangs out the window at the perfect angle kind of thing for the smoke to not really stream in if there's not wind going this way and everything like that kind of thing. Absolutely perfect to smoke some cigarettes and especially since I could open my sunroof if I really want to and the smoke can go through the sunroof as well kind of thing. Whew, certainly no complaints on my behalf. There's no uh, like pop feature of the sunroof I will admit. I can't just pop it so the smoke just like slowly drifts out. But I can only open my uh, my sun sunroof like part ways and that'll do the same thing essentially I do suppose. Although it wouldn't work if it was raining out I guess because having the sunroof open part way would let all the rain drip in and everything like that kind of thing. Whereas if I just had it popped, it wouldn't really do that. Like if it was like a moon roof that could pop, yeah. There could be some room for improvement, but for a car from the 1980s, it's still much better to smoke cigarettes in than not. And of course, it's a car from the 1980s, so you're des it's designed to smoke cigarettes in. Now, like this interior kind of thing, it ain't catching on no, f it ain't catching on fire if you accidentally drop a cigarette ash on it or something like that kind of thing. It ain't catching on fire. It's all fire retardant. <laughs> it's not fire retardant. It's not. No way. No, is it fire retardant? So far, though, the American Spirit Black I'm smoking in today's video, it's pretty scrumptious. Pretty scrumptious. I ain't gonna lie on. Not quite hitting me like a train yet, but it is much more heavy than not, I ain't gonna lie, I'm much more heavy than not, just like the car I'm sitting in right now, and it does indeed have white paper that is actually turning to a sort of like gray, silvery gray, just like the accents on my car kind of thing, that's pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty cool, and uh, well, it's got a brown filter, and I'm sitting in the car with a, a brown interior right now, I certainly can't complain that it is for sure, it's good times, you know what I'm saying, good times. Ooh. With that last hit, I can definitely start feeling the heavy buzz. Almost as heavy as a buzz as the car I'm sitting in right now. This car weighs like 3,000 pounds, 3,500 pounds. I can't remember exactly. It weighs a lot. It weighs a lot. That is for sure. And the buzz this cigarette right here has given me is just about as heavy as this car. Not quite yet, actually. Not quite yet. I gotta take another another couple hits, and then it'll be that big. But And then it'll be that big, and then it'll be that heavy. But, but, it'll happen sooner rather than later. The taste of this cigarette, though, is very is, is very refined as well kind of thing. Even though it's so strong, it still has a really nice, sort of, almost luxury-esque, very refined taste to it. Which is really nice if I do say so myself. And I am currently sitting in what is a luxury car, a very refined luxury car at that. Uh, this car... Uh, taken into uh, taking inflation into consideration would have been a one hundred thousand dollar car back in the nineteen eighties. I mean, like without inflation, it was like thirty grand kind of thing. But, but with inflation, it's like a hundred thousand dollars. That's pretty psycho. I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty psycho. I'm sitting in a hundred thousand dollar car right now that I bought for three grand. Bought it for three grand. I certainly can't complain. That is for sure. I certainly can't complain. Love my cheap luxury cars. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, they are, they are fantastic. Although they do say that there's nothing more expensive. <laughs> there's nothing more expensive than a cheap luxury car. <laughs> they do say that. They do say that. But that's why I buy reliable cheap luxury cars. This is a very reliable car in my purse. It's got 285,000 miles on the odometer right now. Which is just getting broken in for this car. Might sound like a lot. And it is a lot of miles. Don't get me wrong kind of thing. But for a uh, W123 with the OM617 turbo diesel that this car has. Uh, 285,000 miles is uh, just getting broken in because these engines are known to go to a million miles without rebuild. Which is pretty wild if I do say so myself. So just like this cigarette that lasts a really long time, this car 
lasts a really long time as well. There's so many similarities between the American Spirit Blacks and uh, this car, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Besides the packaging, I do suppose. American Spirit Blacks, they do have black packaging after all. And I do suppose the black packaging does match the black accents of the uh, interior, but there's no red accents or anything like that. There are silver accents on the car and whatnot kind of thing, but the packaging doesn't match the car very well, but the cigarette itself does. The cigarette itself does in my personal opinion. I'm feeling quite buzzed right now though. <laughs> I'm feeling quite buzzed right now. I'm gonna go ahead and ash this cigarette in my ashtray for the first time in today's video, actually. I haven't done that quite yet. Now I have ashed just a little bit in my ashtray. I've just been ashing outside of the car so far during this video. Take a little bit of a sip of water real quick. I got my uh, cheap ass, great value, purified drinking water with me today. No Fiji water for me, that is for sure. Excuse me. Got the lid back on. My car might not have cup holders, but the seat adjusting things are really good for uh, holding water bottles, that is for sure. Just not for holding like McDonald's cups or something like that kind of thing. Whew, I'm feeling quite buzzed though. This cigarette is heavy. This cigarette is heavy, y'all. I'm, I'm quite buzzed right now. I'm chilling. Let's go and ash in my ashtray once again. There we go. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But yeah, no. This cigarette, it has a lot of similarities to my car. Both look-wise and uh, smoking-wise, I will admit. Which is quite interesting if I do say so myself. Quite interesting if I do say so myself. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I feel like I got a burp. Excuse me. Yep, had to burp. I think I've only got probably one or two more hits of my cigarette left. So I think I'm gonna wait a minute, take those hits. And then after that, I think I'm probably going to end the video right there. I think I've said everything I want to say. It's been a lot of fun to smoke a, uh, a white cigarette with a brown filter in my white car with a brown interior, though. I certainly cannot complain that it is for sure. It's been a fun video to make, and I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I know I've certainly enjoyed making this video, that is for sure. Oh, one other similarity between this cigarette and my car, though. When I'm driving with the windows up, like air comes out of everywhere kind of thing, like out of the... Uh, like little door latch holes and everything like that kind of thing. Air comes out of everywhere. You can definitely tell it's a 1980s car kind of thing. This cigarette though has perforation on the filter. So you get air in your smoke. Just like you get air in your car. There's one more similarity. There's one more similarity y'all well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure. <sighs> I'm gonna take one more hit. I'm gonna crack my door open, just stub it out on the ground. My uh, ashtray is pretty full right now, so I know if I put my cigarette in there with a lit ash, it's gonna take like a total of like 10 minutes to uh, stop burning, just because it's gonna start burning all of the other cigarette butts and everything like that kind of thing. So now that my cigarette is all done, I'm gonna go and put that in my ashtray. I'm gonna go and close up my ashtray real quick kind of thing. There we go, just like that. And now, I do suppose it's time for me to go and end this video right here. I'm gonna go and step outside of my car for this though. Oh. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. This has been a very fun video to make, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I really have enjoyed 
smoking a white cigarette with a brown filter in my white car with a brown interior. It's been a lot of fun to say the least. And I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, that is for sure. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to a like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Don't think I have anything else I wanna say. I think that was everything I wanted to say for this video. And so, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying?